All right, what I'd like to do is show you guys how to graph a system of equations using the slope using the slope intercept form. So, when given a system and I say, you know, solve the system of equations by graphing, you're given two equations. And what we need to do is we want to see the solution of our system of equation is going to be where our two lines intersect. So, the first thing we need to do is we need to graph our lines. And when I say using the slope intercept form, that means I'm going to want to use uh, where would be a good place to write this? I want to be able to put both my equations into y equals mx plus b form. Because when I put it in y equals mx plus b form, I now know that that's the slope, and then this is my y-intercept. And it's a very easy graphing process once I can determine those two points. So over here, what I know is I'm going to have to do is to get this to y equals, I'm going to have to subtract a 4x on both sides. Therefore, now I obtain y is equal to negative 4x plus 12. And I notice when I have a whole number as my slope, I can always convert that as my rise or run. I just put it over 1, so that's a lot easier for me to be able to um, plot this. Over here, to get my y by itself, I need to use the inverse operation of multiplication, which would be division. So I'm going to divide it 3 on both sides. I get y equals and notice that 3 is divided by the 8 and the 3 is divided by the negative 12x. So therefore, I get a negative 4x plus 8 over 3. And again, what you'll notice is we have another whole number. We can make that a 1. So to ungraph this, I'll go up to my y-intercept, which is 12. So I go up to 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I kind of run out of space on my graph. So I can't go up one over one, but I can go <coughs> down four to the right one. So I go down four, one, two, three, four, to the right one. And I'll do this again, one, two, three, four, to the right one. So what this is doing is what we call our slope triangle. So when you kind of create going down four and over one, it's kind of creating your slope triangle to make a point. So I'll do a rough graph, rough scratch of what that graph would look like. And then now I need to go ahead and graph this equation. So uh, one big problem that a lot of students have is they say, well, how do you graph 8 thirds? I don't understand how to graph that. That's, a, that's an improper fraction. The easiest way that I um, say to take our improper fractions is to convert them back to mixed numbers. So I look at, that, um, I look at this 8 thirds and I say, all right, well, let's convert this back to a mixed number. So 8 thirds, we go 3 goes into 8 two times with the remainder of 2, correct? So I'm going to go up 2, and then I'm going to go 2 thirds up. Then again, i got to follow my same slope. So I'm going to go down 4. So it would give me 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 over 1. And by, so, and by following my rough sketch of my graph, what I notice is these lines are never going to intersect. So therefore, this is an inconsistent solution, and there is at, or I'm sorry, this is an inconsistent graph, and there is no solution to the graph. There is no place for these two, two equations graph. So when solving assist equations by using the slope-intercept form, make sure you solve for y, and then you plot the y-intercept first, and then use the slope to find your next uh, following points.